Hello, Pico S over here. So let's take a look at the Glock 17 Gen 5 today. And what I have here is the Glock 19 Gen 4 with a bit of upgrades. I will talk about it later. So I just came in from a range test firing both. And this is actually my friends. I already saw my Glock 19 Gen 4. And at the range, someone happens to have a Glock 17 Gen 4 by Umarex. So I've done a little comparison video. I'll be showing you guys in a bit. So the 17 Gen 5, 19 Gen 4, and the 19X are supposedly the new upgrade internal system. So they all three of them share the same internal system, and they all features the adjustable hop up in the guiding wall. Uh, you can turn it left and right, rotate left and right by the adding key to adjust more or less hop. And briefly looking at the markings, so you get your Glock logo, 17 Gen 5, Austria. 9 millimeters and then some official license followed by Glock and etc. So shooting experience. Um, I would say this is like the most snappy explosive Crips firing pistol that I handled so far by, by all the VFC guns. Um, so one of the issues that I've seen online is when you put a Mac in and you have it too hard it will the mag will get stuck and you cannot do a slide release but it doesn't happen in my case but if i were to push the mag in i cannot do a slide release oh my god okay again in terms of accessories you get your space here for your mag rail and as for flashlight again x300 it's a perfect tight fit and now let's take a look at the winch test So I found the 17 is shooting more accurate than the 19. You would say that the 17 has a, a bit longer inner barrel, but even though if they're shooting the same, the 17 due to a longer slide, you get a longer sight radius, so there's a less human error chance in there. So it will help you shoot better in person. So for myself, I'm, I'm shooting better at with the 17 than the 19. And now let's take a look at the comparison between the Gen 4 and Gen 5. So the first obvious difference will be the Gen 4 and Gen 5 markings. As for the grips, I don't know if it is because mine is nearer. It feels like mine is even better than the Gen 4. And the grip on Gen 5 got rid of the finger groove. Then I changed the 3 dot sight. So the Glock license product marking are now in the bottom of the grip and they also features a ambidextrous slide release on the Gen 5 and the 6mm marking is gone. And the mag rail on the Gen 5 is bigger and it also features a hole where you can put your fingers in and pull down the mag when it gets stuck. And you listen closely to the trigger reset, the Gen 5 is a lot more solid than the Gen 4. So we've just seen the comparison video between the Gen 4 and Gen 5 and I actually prefer the Gen 5 ergonomics. I don't like the finger grooves here and I the in the Gen 4 and it actually feels more comfortable to me in here. And I mean without over exaggerating, this could easily be my favorite VFC gun so far. You know I've had the before the license the G90 models and then I've had the VP9, which is shit, and then the M17, Glock 90 Gen 4, and then now this. So out of those, I will, this is easily my favorite one. And although I'm tempted to get to keep it, but I have decided to get rid of it. And as soon as I put it on the second hand market, someone already is getting it tomorrow. So this is the Rurex Glock 17 Gen 5.